Hey, let's make a small alteration to our enemy spawner. So the way we set it up originally, this is actually going to check every single actor in the world, and it'll be kind of hard to customize how many each spawner will do. So we're just going to take this and delete it. So we'll get rid of that. And what we're actually going to do is every time we spawn an actor, let's add a unique instance to an array. So if the is valid, we will add unique. Let's promote that array to a variable called enemies oop, spawned. And then we'll plug this into the spawned unit and carry it on like that like that and then it'll continue on its own thing but over here we can grab out our enemy spawned and see if the length of it for each instance is greater than or equal to the enemy amount that we want each one to have now one thing that we will need to do is off this enemy spawned is do a for each loop and see if it is still valid so because when we get to the looting point or after an enemy dies it'll fade away after a while and destroy so that it's not taking up memory and then we can remove it from the enemy's spawned list so we'll do an is valid check for every instance in its array and if it is no longer valid then we want to remove it remove item is not valid remove We'll remove that item, and then from the completed, we'll hook up over here to the branch. So just a quick shakeup, and that will let us actually set up each. So let's say we only want two to spawn here of the rabbit type. I'm going to shrink this shutoff zone a little bit. But over here, we want let's say four of the oh wait this doesn't even count anymore so let's say we want four knights over here and two rabbits over here now we should only get two rabbits right there and then four knights over there and it'll be a lot easier to kind of customize the uh the world and how each enemy spawner reacts to certain things and stuff like that you know just a little bit better than trying to measure every single instance of the enemies in the world that requires a lot more math like taking into consideration how big your world is how many enemies you want in particular areas there's no way to really control how many will spawn that way in another area so so this way it should just be a little bit better give you a little bit more flexible control over where the enemies will be in mass So, so yeah, that's just a quick little update for that one. So I will see y'all soon. Bye.